Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Back to make another video. Ah, anyway, <laughs> hi guys, it's your boy Overpad back again with another video. If you haven't already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. This video is a review on the third test between England and Pakistan, which ended in a draw and made and completed England's 1-0 series win against Pakistan. Our first test series win against them since 2010. Yeah, so so England won the toss on Friday morning, elected to bat, which was a good decision on a dry pitch. And yeah, England went into bat. Burns fell early, nicking to Sham Masood at fourth slip by the bowling of Shaheen Afridi again. Then Crawley came in, first ball w w worked it through square leg for four. And from that point on, he looked in control, scoring at a very good rate. And find the boundary with ease and very, and finding it very frequently as well. But Sibley fell for 22, LBW against Yasir Shah, which brought Captain Joe Root to the crease. He made a nice 29 or 51, but fell to an absolute jaffa from Nassim Shah, moving away and Joe Root nicking it. But it still took an excellent catch from Mohamed Rizwan, the keeper. And then Pope fell for three, going back to an, like the last test, a full non-spinning straight delivery to Yasir Shah, trying to cut it. And then that ball butt to, Butler to the crease with England in a little, bo a little bother, 120 or so for four. But they both put on a 300 partnership with Crawley making a world-class 267, making his first 100, 150, 200 and 250 in international test matches in the same innings. And Butler hitting a very good 150. But Crawley eventually fell on the second day after the 300 partnership with Joss Butler being stunned by Assad Shafiq. And then, but, um, but that ball works to the crease. He played a very nice innings with 40, playing lovely shots through the offside, just like he did in the first test match, second innings. And yeah, but then Butler fell, chipping it to Farad Alam from the bowling from Farad Alam. But and then uh, uh, towards the end of the second day, England eventually declared on 583 for eight, still with about 10 overs or so to bowl at Pakistan. And in those 10 or so overs, James Anderson moved to 596 wickets with three wickets. LBW Sham Masood, Abid Ali nicking to Sibley, as I remember. And on the last ball of the day, Barbara Zang being pinned on the crease. So that was the end of day two. And then came day three. Asad Shafiq fell early, again to the bowling of James Anderson. But Azar Ali hit a sublime 141 not out after being under pressure in the last couple of games. And was supported also well by Mohamed Rizwan, who continues his excellent series this summer for Pakistan against England but they finished on 273 all out and um, and trailed by 310 and England forced a follow on and then they would come out to bat on the fourth day but not until the end uh, but that a lot of rain was that day and Pakistan ended the day on 100 for two with Barbara Zam and and Azarali still at the crease. And England needed eight wickets to win the test match on the last day. But with some but they it ended up just being too much to ask for them. And the match ended up being a draw. So about the series and in general the summer with the West Indies series, I thought England have been good, apart from that first test. In the West Indies series, I thought we were good. And my, if I had to pick maybe my the best three players of the summer, it would probably have to be... 
I mean, I mean probably Crawley because he had the nice innings against West Indies, that 50 against Pakistan, then obviously the big innings. I'd probably say Broad. He's picked up a lot of wickets. And then probably uh, Butler, but works very close behind. And also, at the end of the test, Anderson got a 600 test, wi- test wicket. The first fast bowler to get 600 scouts in test matches, which is incredible for a fast bowler. Now, will he be able to overtake a- Anil Kumble on 619? We'll have to wait and see. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you enjoyed my different type of video yesterday about Minecraft. And if you haven't watched that, please make sure you watch it as well. Um, and thanks a lot for my friend to help me out yesterday. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. See you in a bit. Peace.